Hey gamers, it's Rinamute here from Grind This Game. Back with uh, Oxygen Not Included, the uh, automation upgrade. And I'm just kind of uh, got the basics done in my base, all the research is done. And now I'm kind of heading over this way to try to get into these lockers. And I want to set up a um, algae distiller so I can start processing some of this slime. And I also want to poke a hole through here. This is probably going to become our polluted uh, polluted water pit way down here, this whole area. And I also have to get the fertilizer maker area going. I'm not quite sure where I'll put that yet. Could put it over here. May put it in the cold area, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. We are a little bit low on algae, and oxygen in the base is a little bit thin, but not too bad. I've kind of sealed off the base so it's just this core area that's where the oxygen is going. So we got some lockers here. I've rummaged through some of them. Get some of these people wearing these uh, snazzy suits. So I'll probably put an algae distiller right around here. It's probably not the best place for it, but it'll work for now. And I kind of want to cut through here to liberate all this polluted water. This door is actually in the way. And I don't want I don't want this heat getting into the base. So I put a this is all abyssalite along here. Okay, we need power over here. Probably just build a pathway along here. I want to poke a hole. Where should we do this? Um, I'll hold off on this line just for now until we get this set up. So we're gonna need power. And we're gonna need a pipe. Dump that nasty blue water. Okay, I'll probably make a ladder down here, poke a hole here, and then dig sideways so it can leak out. That might work. That puffed will get out. Might, that's probably okay though. Got a huge chlorine area here. It's all very hot in here. Unfortunately, there was no wheeze warts in here. This is all chlorine in here now, so it's gonna be hard for them to breathe. Oh, there we go, it's working. Perfect. That way, there'll be a place for the slime to go. And we probably need one more power wheel, because uh, using quite a bit more power now. Who do we have here? Nine learning. We've got nine, let's go with ten, and that'll be it for a long time. Let's uh, actually disable the portal for now. Hey, where did this light bug come from? Probably missing some beds. How many do we got? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should work. There it goes. Okay, how much slime do we have here? Quite a bit. I think we'll churn through it pretty fast though. Got seven idle. Jeez. Stuff's all j disease ridden. I should probably put a hand washing station right here actually. Let's get some clean water up that way. And hopefully we can just connect this like that and it won't get confused. Okay, we're gonna need another, probably another algae deoxidizer in here. Got some serious uh, oxygen deficiencies. Okay, we're losing pressure down here, that's not good. But I think this will fix it. 
looks like this deoxidizer is not. I wonder if it's working in that tiny little area. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, fertilizer makers. We need a fertilizer maker room. Actually, first we need to cut this open so that this can all flow out of here. This could become a fertilizer room in here. I think that would work. We haven't found a natural gas geyser yet. That's okay, we can kind of make our own. So, fertilizer, synthesizer... Right there, I guess. This needs to be a sealed room. And we want to move this drainage pipe. We don't want it there anymore. It can come over and merge here. Right in that one. So then we can pump our polluted water into these. Will help. Now I want to leave room in between for cooling. That room is sealed now, so we can start pumping natural gas in there. Oh, these guys are filling up with slime lung. I probably gotta keep them out of here for a while. Oh, this thing's running. Got some natural gas going in here. Now what I should do is pump this polluted water up into here. Yeah, gotta put a pump down here. This will be our input pipe. Then we can disconnect this. I'm gonna move this distiller. This is a bad place for it. Kinda need a floor that's four high for this distiller. Okay, they're all stressed out and they're starting to get sick. So once this is bi built, we're gonna stay out of here for a while. It's nasty in there.
Okay, that looks good. How much algae do we have? 13 tons. Where should we go next? Made a mess. Why? Did I cut off a pipe by mistake? Yep, that's what I did. <laughs> Got no outlet here. That should fix the toilet problem. Now I said I'd keep them out of here, but just want to hook up this third fertilizer maker. Where did all this water come from? Oh, probably from this. Not doing very well here. Oh, this is, I was going to deconstruct this one. There we go. So we can get them to do some sweeping, keep them busy inside the base. them out of this gross area. Oxygen is looking good in the base. How about germs? Uh, not too bad. I don't know why they insist in hanging out in the nasty area. Food is running a bit low, so I'm just going to extend our farm down here. Probably get rid of this algae terrarium here, dig across here. Put a few more farm tiles in there. So I'll just keep going up this way. Try to get in here. This light and sand out of here. Oh, there's a morb in here. I'll come back once things are a little bit more explored. So I'm just cutting in here, trying to let all this cold air mix with all this warm air here. Because eventually I might put my natural gas power plant area right here. Or maybe down here, I'm not quite sure yet. If it was here, it could just fall, all the polluted water could fall in here, which would be good. And we'd eventually get some cooling from this area. So we do have a lot of natural gas building up in here. Probably enough to run one natural gas power plant. We really gotta find the uh, steam geyser though get electrolyzers going. Just keep, I'll just keep working my way down this way. I'm going to stick my natural gas generator right here.
Probably gonna need another circuit to run the pump and filter in here. And I'll probably just use coal for that, just to kind of bootstrap it. So coal generator right here. And then we need gas pump. And a gas filter. Actually, I want to make that out of gold. Send the natural gas this way. That is not the entrance, that is the exit. There we go. Like natural gas for that. And eventually we'll want to send our CO2 down to some slicksters if we can find some. And yeah, we need a place for everything else to go. We'll just probably send that out here. It's going to be mainly polluted oxygen. For now, I guess I'll send the CO2 right here. <laughs> and I want to set up a giant battery room in this in this cold biome so using heavy watt wire now how is this compared to this is 20 kilowatts decor plus 10 percent oh we can't even build the these other ones yet we need refined we need refined metal. Okay, let's just use copper. And we're gonna need a heavy joint plate here. bunch of batteries in here. Probably leave some space for Weezworts. And this time around with this base I'm going to probably make a really big battery bank. Kind of buffer against power spikes and brownouts and stuff. So that natural gas is working. Looking good so far. That CO2 in here is going to eventually overpressurize. But we can change the vents to high pressure vents until we find our slicksters down here. I'm probably going to build my transformer bank along here. It's nice that you can rotate these now. So probably run, run the power out of the transformer this way to power this uh, 
which circuit do I want on this? That'll be good, this circuit here. And we can put these uh, manual generators low priority. Oh, what do we got here? Steam geyser. Nice. That's great, okay. It's very nice. Really nice, nice and close to a cold biome. That could actually be really good. So we got our power set up, we found our steam geyser, uh, but this episode is getting long, so I'll tie into this next episode, and we can get some electrolyzers going, get some oxygen going from that water. That'll be nice. I can deconstruct these wires now, and we'll have to find a natural gas geyser next episode. I think this will be fine for now, but... Oxygen's looking good. Immunity's back to 100, that's good. Stress is low. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these episodes. And click the little bell if you want to get an email each time I put out a new video. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.